Well, it was a chilly afternoon for a lot of us, especially in the upstate Midlands. Closer to the beaches, we were a little bit warmer. We did see some temperatures in the 60s and even 73 in Waltersboro. But you see Myrtle Beach and Charleston both have a star by their high temperature. That's because they reached their high temperature around midnight. So the afternoon temperature did not get above what they were around midnight. So it was still pretty chilly across much of the state. We saw temperatures generally in the 50s and 60s and it's not going to change much over the next couple of days for tomorrow. We could even drop down into the upper 40s for the upstate, but generally it is going to be in the low to mid 50s. Also, the closer to the beaches that you get, the more cloud cover that you will see as the cold front continues to clear out of here. Now, this is not in effect for tonight. This is in effect for Thursday night and into Friday morning. We do have a freeze watch for the majority of the inland low country and inland PD, but I would not be surprised if this was extended further across the Midlands and across the upstate because Thursday night lows we are dropping into the 20s 24 degrees for the upstate 27 for the Midlands and PD and around 29 down in the low country so it definitely is going to be a chilly morning for your Thursday and it's going to be chilly throughout the weekend even into the start of next week we are staying in those 20s and 30s all weekend long into next week before eventually by Wednesday the day before Thanksgiving we do bump up into the 30s and then eventually making it back into the 40s as some warmer air is going to start to push into the region. But by Friday afternoon, we are warming up a little bit. We are generally in the mid to upper 50s, but we are still staying pretty chilly because the 50s is still quite chilly. Now, as we head towards your weekend, we are going to see a little bit warmer air. It's pretty much going to stay status quo for the next several days. So Saturday, you see we're staying in those mid 50s, mid to upper 50s. But then we have another front going to push through. So we are going to see a little bit cooler temperature. So we're back down into the upper 40s across the upstate for your Sunday and then in the low to mid 50s for the rest of the state. We also notice some more cloud cover, especially closer to the beaches, because that's where the majority of the activity is going to be. So if you want to head out to any of the football games this Saturday, we have Miami at Clemson. It is going to be definitely a chilly start tailgating around 48 degrees right before noon around kickoff. We are at our high temperature of around 53 and then eventually dropping our way back down into the low 50s by halftime and upper 40s towards the end of the game. We also have Tennessee in town at Williams Rice taking on the Gamecocks. It is still going to be chilly. We are going to be in the mid to upper 50s for tailgating, but we are only going to drop off from there around 50 at kickoff and then 44 degrees as we get to the end of the game. So your 10 day forecast is looking more like fall or even winter, depending on how you look at it. Temperatures are going to stay in the 40s and 50s in the upstate, but mainly in the 50s for the next several days. We are going to get some warmer air moving in here by next week. You see our temperatures do bump up into the 60s for a lot of places, but another system is going to move in. It does look like it is going to bring some rain as we head towards your Thanksgiving, so it really is up in the air whether the rain is going to come on Thursday or Friday. So, of course, I will keep you updated on that, but what we do know is the temperatures are going to go right back down into the 50s as we head towards next, next weekend. So, keep here at Will's Weather for all the latest information.